Well, as you guys seen from the intro, it's the uh, VW Nut 1967 channel on YouTube. Uh, this material right here, uh, on top of my 64 book, this is what we're going to, this in conjunction with another material is uh, what we're going to use for the headliner, but I want to see how it is to work with first. So we're going to do a couple of other pieces in the car first. You'll see. Stay tuned. Stick with me. Um, we'll get started on some custom interior in the uh, 1964 bug. I'll bring you guys right back. We'll get to uh, taking that glove box door off. Well, I'll change the battery. But now that it's focused, you can see in there is my glove box door. That's what I'm going after next. I'll bring you right back. Just four screws here on the um, glove box door. As you're waiting for the story to end, think about all the things that you depend upon your shoulders standing high. Alright, I'm just going to gently persuade um, this nut off of here uh, to pull the latch out for ourselves uh, with a little gentle persuasion. Looking around the world from in the sky. Take it easy cause you might fall You got a million different people writing on your wall I got a number, write it down You better check your distance from the ground So if you're ever gonna watch me fall I think... Alright, we're just putting a little, uh, brushing on a little, little layer of some contact adhesive. Um, I did treat the, um, glove box door after we scuffed it up I treated it with a little bit of um, alcohol to just clean whatever else was off of there um, on there off of there uh, and get it ready for paint um, this should just flop exactly like that this piece of material in theory should just flop right on top of there and we should be able to stretch her out no problem should be able to and if you're ever gonna help me fall, I think now's the time. And if you're ever gonna catch me fall, I think now's the time. Alright, we're gonna put the uh, two of them together. I'm not sure which is going to be better, whether to go this way or to put that one up there. So I'm gonna start by setting the glove box door on this one. Then I'm going to flip it over and stretch it. So, that came out very cool. And I had the idea I may want to see what that looks like on there too, that material first. So I'm going to cut that out and yeah, I'm going to start there. I'm going to cut that out. So I grabbed a, um, so I grabbed a couple of more pieces. That's the screen for the inside of, um, that speaker grill right there. We're going to see how that. Um, how that comes out. Uh, the other, the glove box door, I did end up putting this piece of material on there. Um, not sure if I like it better or worse, but it's, uh, it's out there. You see my snow is going away. Um, it's out there on the ladder drying. So, uh, once we get that put back in the car, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna get this cut out and, uh, see about getting it put on that there speaker. 
All right, so there is my custom glove box door. I am absolutely happy with it. I am still working on the speaker cover over there. And I'm um, also going to go ahead, if that looks okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the um, one for the gas gauge too, where you can see it here and here. Um, I'm not sure where we're going to go from here, but we will keep you guys tuned in to the custom interior in my 64 bug my face with you is never a smile out of place you put the beats into my heart you know that i've loved you from the start you want a better life well, so do i you think i want to live this way until the day i die to take it easy understand It's the subtle touches. Do I like it? Yeah, I love it. We'll get it put in the car and I'll take you guys over there and give you a look. Very cool. I already got this one uh, loose. It was painted in the car, so it's going to take a little uh, gentle finagling to get that one out, but it'll be out in just a sec. Alright, so I'm working on covering over the ashtray door. People don't use the ashtray anymore. Alright, so I got the uh, horn, the one around the, um, hold on, I gotta turn off the music and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the, uh, the one around the fuel gauge off and somewhere I cut a couple of little slivers for sure. That's one, that's probably the one for right there, is my guess. And this, no, this is the one for right here. So we'll get some glue put down. All I think a thousand times. And if you're ever gonna help me fall, I think a thousand times. And if you're ever gonna catch me fall, I to end think about all the things that you depend upon your shoulders standing high looking around the world from in the sky i'm just looking for a place to land so won't you tell me how you feel about my one-man band do spend your days up on the fence till everything i do starts making sense so if you're ever gonna watch me fall i think All right, you guys ready to take a look? We got her uh, mostly back together, so we'll get situated here. We got this speaker grill done. We got behind the gas gauge done. We got the ashtray door done. And we got the glove box door done. So I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here and hanging out with me on this uh, custom interior journey and the other things we got into and uh, we will see you in a couple of days so in case you guys don't know even worse than snow and cold weather patina hates the rain even worse come on let's go come on
very upset I just took her out of her nice warm bed to bring her outside and it's raining. Come on, puppy. Go potty. Say goodbye to the people. Is it safe? Is it safe? It looks pretty safe. Now's the time. Now's the time.